Y'all will not believe what the state or maybe the city of New York, whatever you want to call it, has decided to do as it pertains to illegal immigrants. They've given them even more cover. So we are all familiar with the term illegal alien. Well, now in the state of New York, that has officially been banned on the on the grounds of it being called hate speech. So basically, if you call somebody who is an illegal alien, someone who is not here legally, they do not have their papers to be here. You could be hit with some punishment. This is, I guess, is their form of way of their form of the N word. I'm not entirely sure. But even then, when the N word is still floating around, there's still hope sometimes no punishment or they try to question if it's a hate crime. Some They actually most times question if that's a hate crime. But they have officially banned the term illegal alien in New York under the under the grounds of it being a hate crime. It says it is now against the law in New York City to threaten to someone with a call to immigration authorities or refer to them as an illegal alien when motivated by hate. The restrictions violations of which are punishable by fines of up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per offense are outlined in a 29 page directive released by city hall's commission of human rights did y'all hear that if you call somebody an illegal alien out of hate or threaten to call ice they can fine you for a quarter of a million dollars it is amazing how a group of people can come over here illegally illegally plant themselves here and start a generation of, of families and probably live the American dream better than most who have already been born here and get all this cover. And ironically, it's happening in the state of New York. What just happened in the state of New York? I did a video about this a couple months ago where it says that they, that if you're an illegal immigrant, that you can get a driver's license. They're doing this because it's an election season and they need the vote. I said it then. I'm saying it now. That's all it is. If this wasn't an election season, say if this was like last year, this wouldn't be a topic of discussion. And you know how I know? Because it wasn't a topic of discussion. But it is one now. Because the election is next year. It says alien. Used in many laws to refer to a not a citizen person is a term that may carry negative connotations and dehumanize immigrants, making them as other reads one passage of the memo. The use of certain language, including illegal alien and illegals, with the intent to demean and humiliate or offend a person or persons constitutes discrimination. And here's the thing. Even if it wasn't used in a way to constitute hatred, they'll still claim that it was hate speech and they'll find you just like the Me Too heifers. They say if you even look at them in a way that they feel is sexual, they'll say that you sexually harass them. So it's leaving this thing wide open for them to come up off of somebody but again the state of new york is giving them a lot of cover much more cover than they would definitely give anyone that looks like you or i it says the directive goes on to list several examples of acts and comments that will run afoul of the restrictions including harassing people over their accents or grasp of english or wielding the threat of a call to immigration and customs enforcement as a tool of hate a hotel prohibits its housekeepers from speaking spanish while cleaning because it would offend hotel guests or make them uncomfortable reads one hypothetical and that's the scary part because a lot of the times you know not know what they're saying and they could easily be cursing you out in their language and you would never know unless you were bilingual and spoke multiple languages with Spanish being one of them. An Indian immigrant family complains to their landlord about mold and cockroaches in their unit. The landlord tells them to just deal with it and threatens to call ICE if they file a complaint in the housing court reads another. A store owner tells two friends who are speaking Thai while shopping in a store to speak English and go back to your country reads a third. The Commission on Human Rights made clear that the directive is at least in part a rebuke of federal crackdowns on illegal immigration. <clears throat> but you want to know what's so funny? When I'm reading the examples that they gave, you know who a lot of those who the people, the, the specific group that sounds like would say that to people like that. It almost sounds like palm color people. I don't know a lot of black people that would say half of the stuff. That's listed in these examples, but don't think that they won't come after you too. 
This is, after all, New York we're talking about, who was one of the most corrupt police departments in the land. In the face of increasingly hostile national rhetoric, we will do everything in our power to make sure our treasured immigrant communities are able to live with dignity and respect, free of harassment and bias, said Carmelin Malalas, the agency's commissioner. Now listen to this right here. <clears throat> she says we will do everything in our power to make sure our treasured immigrant communities are able to live with dignity and respect free of harassment and bias. The key word there is treasured. She called illegal immigrants treasured. I have never, ever, ever heard of anybody who was born here be referred to as treasured. But people who were illegally here, who were not born here, are referred to as treasured. Y'all cannot tell me that they have that they don't have an agenda behind this whole thing. This is a whole political scheme right here. They are looking for votes. Now, what will make it interesting to see is how this whole thing turns around. But see, this is the state of New York. New York has been a blue state for God knows how long. It says the directive comes months after Mayor Bill de Blasio vocally opposed coordinated raids by ICE on the city's immigrant communities. Meanwhile, on Thursday, the mayor's office of immigrant affairs announced a joint one million dollar investment with the state to guarantee legal services to immigrants facing imminent deportation. See, look at that legal services to illegal immigrants. I'm telling you, they are giving them things and incentives and resources that someone like you and I who are bo were born here would never get. We would have to literally struggle and fight and scrape to get the stuff that they're literally getting handed. But I keep telling you, it is a political move. They are doing this because it's an election cycle. If it was not, this would not be a topic of discussion. But I'm glad it's being had because we know what uh, side of the uh, tracks they're on. And these are also the same people that when we said something about reparations for people that were actually born here and never got our just due, Oh, we can't do this. Oh, it'll be too costly. It'll be doing this. But y'all jump over hurdles, leap through hoops, swan dive off of cliffs in the shark infested waters for these illegal immigrants. Because you know what it is? They found the new base. They're saying we no longer need those Negroes anymore. Especially now that we started calling ourselves ADOS and started actually demanding some tangibles. They were like, oh, them niggas done woke up. We got to find a new base that's still sleep. And the base that's sleeping right now, seemingly, is that illegal immigrant. That is their new home. That is their new home base. But I'm glad they have exposed themselves for who they are. So in a way, the illegal immigrants, in a way, played their part in this. They have exposed the Democratic Party for who and what they really are. A bunch of dirty, filthy, lying ass bitches. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.